At AAD 2014, on the UK pavilion, several British defense and security companies are showcasing their latest products. My name is Robert Sutton and I am the director of Scots Military and Civil Defence Team. We're here at ADS in order to demonstrate uh, a lot of the products that we do which are in CBRN protection and in naval damage control. As an example of one of our products, this is the first responders respirator. It was developed from the British military respirator which has just finished rollout with the forces in the UK. This variant has been developed to allow its wider sales around the world. Its key features are that it is the most protective respirator ever developed, a significantly higher protection levels, particularly against biological agents, than have ever been achieved before. So in the world of new and asymmetric threats, this is a respirator for the future and a capability that we'd like to discuss with numerous nation states in order to try and bring this to their military capability. We find this a very exciting uh, session today because we have an opportunity not only to speak to South Africa, to learn about this region and how to partner with individuals here, but also to talk to the other regional players here. So this is a great centre for us to work in. My name is Tim Sharp. I work for Miro Technologies. This is a UK company with a headquarters in the United States. We're here at the AAD show because there's a lot of interest in our software product, Gold ESP, throughout uh, the continent of Africa. Uh, Gold ESP is used for military maintenance, repair and overhaul and supply chain management. Uh, it's also used by equipment manufacturers for performance-based logistics. Um, if you look at the screen over on my right shoulder, you can see a typical dashboard view of what the military capability is looking like today. Using the software product, you can proactively manage the scheduled and unscheduled maintenance for all platforms from helicopters to UAVs to ships to tanks and, and trucks. Hello, I'm uh, Martin Andrews. I'm the military sales manager for Maybe Bridge Limited. And we manufacture the Maybe Logistic Support Bridge, which has been adopted by NATO as its line of communications bridging system. And it's also been adopted by many other armies around the world. It's a steel bridge and it can carry the heaviest military loads across a single span of 60.96 metres. It can bridge larger gaps using piers or floating pontoons. It's an ideal bridge for emergency situations and humanitarian disasters because with the ground beams and grillages, it can be built almost anywhere. It's a great bridge. It could be used for military and civilian situations. Good afternoon. I'm Matthew May from Imarsat. Imarsat is a global satellite network operator. And what that means is that we manage a fleet of satellites which provide global broadband connectivity anywhere on the planet at high speeds. Uh, typical users in my area of the business include Army, Navy uh, and land forces and air forces who will be using the system to get uh, internet or any network broadband connection anywhere on the globe, on the land, on the sea and in the air. Um, often used, very, very much used on operations for command and control, surveillance and welfare purposes. Um, but we also have a very vibrant business in non-military application as well. Humanitarian, Red Cross, policing and these things. Um, the network is designed, was originally designed for maritime distress purposes and therefore it's built with high integrity and a complete global footprint. Um, Imarsat's purpose of being at the exhibition here today really is to meet end users, understand how an always on global broadband network can help deliver their solutions and, and also to meet other companies who might want to act as distributors for us. Okay, hello, I'm Mike Coveney, I'm the Sales and Marketing Director for Griffin Hoverwork Limited. We're the world leader in the design, manufacture and operation of hovercraft. Now a hovercraft is a relatively simple craft, it can be used uh, anywhere where you can't use a boat. So we tend to say if you need to access the inaccessible, you need a hovercraft. And it works quite simply by operating on a cushion of air. Our main customers are people like the Peruvian Navy, uh, the Indian Coast Guard, the Swedish Border Guard, border guards and, and security operations throughout the world who need to use hovercraft to look after their borders. Now we're here today in South Africa 
with the aim of opening up the African market. We perceive that there are some excellent opportunities for our product in places like Nigeria and Angola and also in South Africa itself. So with luck, we'll find the partner that we need to help us promote hovercraft throughout Africa. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Jog Patel. I'm the CEO of Blue Bear. Blue Bear designed, built, flight test and supply unmanned air systems. We supply rotary, fixed wing and lighter than air. Um, we have here Black Start and I Start UAVs. These are designed to be over the hill, round the corner um, surveillance. It's all about getting your eyes in the sky without the operator having to worry about flying the vehicle, allowing him thus to concentrate on the mission. What am I looking at? What do I need to do? So the vehicle comes packed in a single backpack. You have a ground control station and the comms equipment. You also have different payloads according to your requirements. You take the vehicle out of the backpack, shake the vehicle, throw it into the air, walk to your ground control station and task the vehicle to look here, land there. It's as simple as that. How can it be used? It can be used for security, policing, defence, humanitarian, uh, disaster relief. It has many applications. Its real discriminator is that it is genuine single operator. It doesn't need two men or three men. It's a single backpack, single operator system. Hi, my name's Paul Rolfe. I work for Inspire Limited, a UK company in Lincoln. We deliver UAV managed services, so supplying personnel to actually fly UAVs for, for customers uh, and deliver tactical and operational training. We also have training courses, currently about 19 training courses, some of which are online but accredited by uh, universities. We also deliver UAV consultancy, so delivering concepts of operation and uh, supplying sensors and uh, aircraft for UAV deployments. Uh, we're working currently in South Africa on the counter-rhino anti -rhino poaching, which allows us to do uh, operational inputs towards the, the private game reserves. So instead of pointing a camera around, we're actually doing an operational service uh, for working with the game reserves and the, uh, the teams out there.